All right, look, I got a problem. My family thinks I'm a world famous chef. I'm not. My family also thinks I went to college. I didn't. The batteries in this earpiece died six months ago. I just wear it so they'll get some respect. And anybody ask me a tough question, I just say, hang on, I'm on a call. Uh-huh, yeah? Two points, yes, give me 10,000. You heard me, don't question my decisions. So here's the solution. If you're a dad, or a mom, or just an ordinary person, that's really rude, then have I got a tip for you. How to make Malaysian Migo Ring. Indomie instant noodles, Migo Ring. I get the hot and spicy, you get whatever kind you like. Check this out. Looks just like this. How can you make a world-class dish out of a packet of dry instant noodles? You add a bunch of fresh ingredients and nobody knows it came out of a package. <laughs> and they eat it. <laughs> you boil the noodles and then you mix these amazing sauces in it. We're going to use the powder. Don't judge me. You don't even know me. Here's how to make something magical for dinner that will make your family go, Wow, you're such a great chef. I feel so happy, I think I'll go wash the car. No. Here's what you do. All right, first lesson today, how to walk your dog. Wait, no. One packet of noodles for each person you're feeding. One egg for each person you're feeding. Unless someone ate them all. Then you go with whatever you got. Bean sprouts, baby bok choy. And you're gonna need some oil. You're gonna need a wok and you're gonna need something to boil the noodles in. And because this is America, whoo, salt and pepper. For toppings, these are Chinese fried onions. All right, if we look inside one of these packets, here's what you get. You get your standard noodles, only, I don't know, they're different than ramen noodles. They tend to hold up better, they stay al dente longer. Down here, we've got five packets of seasoning. The first one is a seasoning powder. It's also called bumbu powder, which I looked up and it means seasoning powder. You will now tell me all of your secrets. It's not talking. I don't know what's in it. One death by bumbu later. Second one is chili. If you got little kids, don't add the chili. Sprinkle it on your own plate. Don't force them to eat that. All right, this is the bumbu oil. Uh, again, use that, it's magical. This stuff is the thick soy sauce. And then it comes with a little tiny pack of fried onions, but we can do better than that. Here's a pro tip. When it comes time to dump the seasoning in, you're gonna have to do it all at once. Put all the bumbu seasoning in a bowl, put the chili powder in the bowl if you're gonna use it. If you're not, then just don't use that part. You cut both of them off and you dump them into another bowl. And that will save you a ton of time and frustration at the last minute when everything has to go in the pot and you're like, ah, I gotta open all these little packets. Pro tip, get your water boiling first on the big burner, then you can move it to a smaller burner to keep it boiling. Pro tip, chop everything up before you start. Makes it so much easier. All right, first thing, throw some oil in the pan. I don't care what kind of oil you use. I'm not your boss. Swirl that around, make sure it gets nice and hot. Throw the eggs in first. You cook the eggs first because everything else is gonna make the pan kind of sticky. The eggs, you want them to slide around. You don't want them too sticky. Throw the eggs in, a little pepper, a little salt. Now for this dish, I like my eggs well done. More oil, let that toast up a little bit. And in goes the meat. While that chicken's cooking, noodles into the boiling water. Mmm, that's classy. All right, chicken's cooking, salt and pepper. Keep an eye on those noodles. You want them just a little bit tough, because they're gonna soften up while they're in the drainer. Over here. As soon as the uh, liquid goes out and it starts to brown a little bit, yeah, those chunks are done. Next, bok choy. If you need to, put in a little more oil. I just want to cook them just to take the edge off. Take a little bit of the bitter off the outside. Maybe a minute. All right, when you start to smell that bok choy, you know the oil's cooking it and it's frying it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and dump in the bean sprouts. And you really don't have to cook bean sprouts long or they turn into uh, mush. So. Another 30 seconds. Here's where things move kind of quick. I'm going to shut off the heat. I'm going to add the eggs. I'm going to dump the noodles in. Go ahead, just dump them all in there. I'm going to sprinkle in the bumbu powder. I'm going to scrape in the oil. 
got all that uh, thick soy sauce. Got the uh, bumbu oil, seasoning oil. Good stuff. Okay, now just gotta kind of mix everything in. I like to chop the noodles a little bit so they're a little bit easier to eat, especially for the kids. And then you just kind of flip everything for a minute. Mmm, getting hungry. Then you just throw that in a bowl, sprinkle some onions on top. Mmm. And that is how you make delicious Malaysian international cuisine. <laughs> mm.